Oh, and welcome in on a Monday, ready to roll. Whoa, buddy, we're going to start with big opinions only, people. Rico, welcome. How are you? You just, you, you look refreshed. Well, Michael, you know. What? Pretty good, man. Uh, <laughs> interesting. No, nah, I, I, I enjoyed the thing you did with Boomer. That was a fun episode. Oh, thank you. Um, but we I like you. I support my partner. That's horrifying as I do subscribe <laughs> to the Five Star Zone. Um, I want to start with college football, and I'm going to offer you a take. I'm going to offer you a take about Michigan football, and I, don't, I, I really don't know what the response will be. I mean, I know from Kenny what it'll be, but that's Kenny. But, like, I – this is where I'm at. I think over my 18-plus years, I laugh when people are like, oh, Sparty Radio. It's like, Really? For most of that time, you've been ass. I can't help that. And for a lot of that time, my school's been good. I also can't help that. But when you're good, I give you your flowers. Like last year, and you didn't believe in your own team, and I told you you're beating OSU. So I'm going to put you on Main Street. Following your demolition of Penn State, here's what I'm coming to the table with. The national champion in college football will come from the Big Ten. The national champion is going to be either Ohio State or Michigan. I say that with no smarm, no sarcasm, no BS. Now, I'm going to give you reasons. We're going to have a conversation. You can make fun of it. I will debate it. Um, We can do whatever you like. But you don't fake 416 yards of rushing. You don't fake it. You don't fake what this team is doing. And I told you I needed to see you play Penn State. And I and again, not like Penn State is this crucible of truth. It's not like you went to Georgia. But you don't demolish someone and demoralize someone the way they did if you're not legit. And I've said to you guys for a while, this is a chaos year in college football. Bama's not Bama. I said that before they lost to Tennessee. Georgia, Kenny damn near had a nervous breakdown. I don't know if Georgia is Georgia. I know they're good, but how good? Not ready to buy into Tennessee, sorry. And Clemson, take it easy. Here's the point. No one said winning a national title will be easy. What I'm telling you is this is the Big Ten's best opportunity, and this might be, as a Michigan fan, this might be your best team. So I don't know if you're beating OSU or vice versa. But I think the winner of your game at the end of this year is going to win the national championship. And I want to know where you're at with your team. Because, look, I can think James Franklin is a con artist and a bad guy and a fraud. It has nothing to do with it. See, that you know what it is, Rico? That was the anatomy of a game. Because that score... The game wasn't even that close. No, halftime was ridiculous. Right. Mich- Michigan's up one, and you're like, well. Penn State got two fluke plays. Right. It, Michigan it, it, it should have been that close. 50 to nothing. The interception was like, why Why is this guy running? Wait, did he catch that out of midair? <laughs> yeah, he did. It was like a jugs machine. Right, because you know how right. sometimes you get you get an inter- you Fuck. After, and I'm after, gone. <laughs> after the play is over, the guy picks it up and acts like, oh, I'm going to like, wait, he's still running. And yeah, right. and, and the Sean, I mean, the Clifford play once, it was a great play, great fake, because I'm like, where is he going? Right. The truth oh, he is. he has the ball. But, Mike, it, it, was the, it was the total domination that we talked about last week. You go out there and you, that, that was it. I mean, you know what it was? It was Georgia last year. It, it was, that yeah. was primarily a 50 to nothing yeah. win. Yeah. It Period. was. Okay, Penn State had the number five rushing defense. Hold my beer. Watch this. Michigan rushed for more yards in that game than Penn State gave up the entire season. So 416 far. to 398. So it was so good that Blake Corm wasn't your leading rusher. Boy, that's did, that's boy, how good did, it was. Boy, did Donovan Edwards look good on that one play, on that 65 yarder. That, that, that cut, he left that dude's nutsack at the 35. Gone. I hope somebody up the equipment manager grabbed that thing. They got to sew that puppy back on. I tell you, that was I, tough, man. I, I think he's. I told David. I think he's going to be special. I really do. Listen, 
I just want to wait, but I'm not allowed to say nice things. I'm sorry. No, he's okay, David. Smart. He's just okay. Um, I want to hear his from best Michigan days fans. at West Bloomfield. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. I think the national champion's coming from the Big Ten. I think it's you or Ohio State. And I, if you ask me, okay, well, what's your top five right now? Yes, Ohio State would be number one. You'd be number two. Georgia would be number three. Tennessee would be number four. Clemson would be number five. Alabama would not play a role in it. I don't think Alabama's good. I've said it for weeks. So why not give, them, why not give Tennessee some, some love here? Because I've often said to be the man, you got to beat the man. It's fair, but I don't think Alabama's that. the man. Show me a win over Georgia, you Al- got something. Mike, Alabama's always the man. They're not. They, they are. They're, they're old school Mike right. Tyson. I'm not going to go find Baum radio here. Their O line can't pass pro, and their secondary is morbid. No, it, 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 man, it's bad. Wow, right. is it bad? Hey, what about all the stars? It doesn't matter. They can't play. My thing is this I like that. I, I need to see because what it's been since 2000 and was it 2010 was 12. the last time Alabama's lost three times in a year. I think they're losing three times this year. I need to see how Nick Saban bounces back. They've been flirting with this, and they've been flirting with this, and it was inevitable. They should already have three losses. They should, but they didn't. I know. Because here's the thing, here's the thing about a team like Alabama and Georgia, because I still think Georgia's bored. I, I do. I you know Kenny be doesn't right. believe me. Here's all I'm telling you, my man. You love future bets. Mm-hmm. I think there's incredible value. Michigan plus 1,600 to win the national title. I think there's a lot of value there. Ohio State at plus 170, no value. I think Michigan is the business. I think the physicality they play with. I think the balance they play with. Look, Tennessee is fun. I love Tennessee. I love the creamsicles. You're not winning a natty playing the way they play. You're not. You're not. But but the thing is, when you when you look at certain teams, Mike, Alabama may be bad, but bottom line is they still have athletes. That's fine. Do you have enough athletes to match them? Player for player. All right, so an and as you like to say, Vegas doesn't like giving out discounts. So here's the deal. If I line up Michigan against Alabama right now, I would take Michigan, and here's why. Bryce Young may not survive the day. He was battered all day Saturday. Every game he's played, Rico, if we're honest about it, he got killed at Texas. That O-line can't protect. I would give Michigan the advantage at running back. I'd give Michigan the advantage at O-line. I would give Michigan advantage at skill positions outside. They have better receivers and better tight ends. I've yep. never been able to say that before in a Michigan-Alabama matchup. Even over the Alabama running back. Wow. I love Jameer Gibbs. What I'm saying is Gibbs is being used so much as a pass catcher. It nullifies a lot of his ability as a back. I have Donovan Edwards and Blake Corm. You want to call it a push, call it a push. No, no. I, no. I, somebody asked me that, and I think I was telling Cookies on Saturday. Honestly, I, I would say I would say pick him. That's fine. Yeah. The point is, and if I go defensively, I would take Michigan secondary because Bama has shown their ass yeah, all that's... year. And no, I can't take Michigan's D line <laughs> over Bama's. But my no, point no, to you is, when you think about it, like this is this is a Bama rebuilding year, right? And when they're still in the top. Right. Team. So here's my point, guys. I think the national champs coming from the Big Ten, more specifically the Big Ten East. It's Ohio State yeah. and you. We talked about how, in all likelihood, there'd only be two ranked teams in the Big Ten when you played. I'm pretty sure we've arrived at that point. Penn State, sorry, thanks for coming. I want to know from Michigan fans whether you are ready mentally to be hurt. Are you willing to put it all on the line? Because I'm telling you, that performance on Saturday was one of the most yeah. impressive Michigan wins in a decade. And and here's the thing, yeah, you're right. I think that's going to be one of their ranked teams. I think you broke Penn State. And oh. uh, and unlike I'm going to give you credit because Penn State had the number 10 next to their name, very similar to early in the year we thought Notre Dame was going to be better, and I think Ohio State kind of broke them. Ohio State broke them in that game and they were never the same since. I think Michigan broke Penn State. Well, you're going to find I, out in the coming weeks. I think Penn State is probably going to finish out the year losing more games than they will win because that was just flat-out embarrassing. I'll wait for people to make fun of James Franklin's contract the way they do Mel Tucker. That's not going to happen. All right, then. Um, So, yeah, that's where we open the show today. I mean, I'm going to do some NFL because a Lions free weekend was bliss, except it only made me angrier. We get to that later in the show. Look, Michigan fan, if you're scared, you can just say it. 
but it's easy for me. In the years where Michigan State is awesome, I just say it. In the years you're awesome, I just say it. This guys, this year's different though, because in the year like last year, no one was beating Georgia. I tried to say Georgia was just that much better than you. Right. Georgia and Alabama were going to play each other again, but this right in the now, national title game, right here, right now, I don't think Michigan would be bigger than a seven point no. dog. To to uh, honestly, if they played Georgia today, I'd have a very hard time taking Georgia. I really would. You can laugh. This, this is when man, I wish they had the twelve team playoff. I think it would be so awesome. It would be totally wide open this year. And that's why. Matchups. Michigan has the ability to do this. I've never said that. I've never in my time in Detroit said they could win a national title. I really believe this is the year you have an opportunity. And, yes, you may not beat OSU, and you may get left out of the playoff. I mean, I don't want to get into scenarios of, well, one loss, this. Guys, let it play. We're not even into November. Just no, let because, it play because an interesting scenario may pop up, and it was very similar to last year, where the SEC title game could be a rematch of Alabama Tennessee, and if Alabama wins, similar to last Look, Alabama's year, Alabama's Michael Myers. You yeah. got to cut his head off and throw it off a bridge, and it still doesn't matter because he'll come back to you. Summit later. right, the head shows up <laughs> on a plate and kills you. That's what I say. Alabama will always be the gold standard, and they're down. They stink. so this is a year. If you ever played Alabama, we you you could beat them. So look, while you guys are figuring out your emotions, I will throw the number out. And I want to know if you're willing to go to the place that I'm going. The national champion is going to be you or Ohio State. And your game will be a de facto playoff game.